What's going on guys? Uh, today we're going to take a look at my uh, M9A4. I was super psyched to get this gun. I uh, looked around all the stores around here. I could not find one um, in the uh, FDR. So I ordered one online, sent it to my shop. Went ahead and ordered all the parts, my compensator, grips, magwell, uh, magazine extension. Went and picked it up, came home, put all the shit on. Took it to the range. Oh, yeah, hold on. It's clear. That's strong with this. Took it to the range, and the fucking sights were off. Horribly. I mean, you got to aim almost two, three o'clock position to hit it. As long as you aim at it, it's money. But, I don't know. I just kind of kind of disappointed, man. You pay, again, premium price for a gun. You at least think the damn rear sights be on. But... It shoots flat. The quality's great. This one's supposed to have the, uh, uh, I guess, Extreme Series trigger, the up upgraded one from the uh, the A3. But I think it's supposed to have the same thing as the Performance. I mean, you got take up and then break, which is not bad, and then the double, which is tough, but it's just kind of gritty, man. It's kind of disappointing to be honest. Um, sprung, it sprung well, it's real light, like I said, it shoots flat, um, but the trigger just, I don't know, it's gotten better since I've shot it, I, uh, for the life of me, I got a damn, uh, a sight puller, or pusher, oh, I got this thing I bought, and it's not a cheap one, it's like $60 on eBay, and for the life of me, I could not push this damn thing over just a little bit. I hadn't tried uh, freezing it. I heard you could freeze the, the top slide and then come and then push it. But I just I just felt defeated. And I was feeling like I was about to fuck it up. Because you got, you know, your safety right here. And it's trying to... I mean, I got the one that's got the attachments where you can kind of level it out. But still, man, you're twisting this damn thing. And uh, so I just been shooting it, aiming at 2 o'clock. And like I said, it's money if you're at the 7 to 10 yards range. But if you put anything further back, you just, it sucks. <laughs> but, but shit, other than that, I mean, you got, um, this is a Beretta comp. It's got a steel guide rod. Extended actually goes a lot longer. So that kind of keeps that locked in. This is a Springer Precision. Um, Magwell, these are lock bogey thin grips, super nice. That's about it. But like I said, I paid around 1100 for just the gun, and then you got 75 80 in the grips, another 100 for the mag, another I think 40 for the base, and then I think this is under two. I couldn't 150 to 200 bucks for it to shoot, uh, straight ish, <laughs> but. I don't know, I guess, has anyone tried the freezing thing? I've seen a couple people do it on uh, YouTube, but you never know if they're just full of shit. If you got any other method, I thought about getting a little, you know, like a little tap and beating the hell out of it, but I don't, I don't want to fuck my gun up. Um. Anyways, let's go ahead and do a little, a little trigger pull on this. Let's see. I don't know what. Six pound. Yeah. One more time. Yes, it's right at five and a half pounds. Still heavy. But like I said, my first this is my first Beretta. The experience kind of I don't say suck. It's still a nice gun. It's high quality. But uh you know, you buy a gun like that, you, you want your sights to be on. I don't ever plan to put a red dot on it because the damn plates on these look stupid in my opinion. But I'm not I'm not a huge fan of red dots. I mean, I, I got a few of them. I, I got one on my home defense gun just because you wake up in the middle of the night, your eyes are kind of foggy still. You just want to focus on the big old red dot and squeeze the trigger. I like, I like shooting iron sights. But uh, 
I, I, I don't know. Like I said, if y'all know any tips and tricks, please comment. Um, uh, till next time, man, y'all be safe out there later.